Let's take a look at um, time off accruals. Um, let's say that your company gives you or your employees uh, 40 hours off each year. Um, Standard Time is able to automatically accrue that time on a periodic basis, whether it's on a monthly basis or yearly basis or weekly. Uh, Standard Time can add those hours to your paid time off bank. Uh, so let's take a look at where that occurs. Um, I'm going to click on this Time Off tab. You see the six tabs along the top. This last one deals with Time Off, and that generally deals with the paid time off or other reasons that you might be taking time off. You see a series of records here that um, are for employees who have taken time off or who have submitted time off uh, records. So what I'm going to do is right click on this so that I can edit the time off policies. Now in this right click menu you also see the uh, time off reasons that you can have. Uh, obviously the policies, there are blackout periods. Meetings affect the time off because people want to know what meetings are going to miss. Uh, holidays are also skipped. So if I choose time off policies, this dialog box opens and you immediately on the left hand side see a list of reasons. So these are the policies for each employee and uh, in fact it's for each employee and each reason or possible reason that they would be taking time off. You also see a drop down at the top so as you look through this you see people listed here so in this case I have Buzz and I can see the all the possible reasons for Buzz to take time off and I can see the available hours uh, the number of hours he earns in a period. Um, for instance, here, vacation, he earns 12 hours each month. Um, you, you could choose bi-weekly, monthly, yearly, compensatory, uh, and so on. There's different ways to choose the earn period. Uh, you can also reset that if, this if you like. So that's implement sort of a use it or lose it policy. So in this case, if Buzz doesn't use his vacation, it's going to be reset every year. But in this case, he can carry over some hours. So that's a use it or lose it policy. Um, normally, this is set to never so that you don't reset every year. But some companies do implement a use it or lose it on certain reasons. So you can see that in some cases we reset, in some cases we don't. Uh, so we can carry over. Uh, we also have a date of hire, so we know when Buzz was hired. Um, the accrued day is when we earn on a monthly basis, we know which day of the month to accrue. You can also set a do not exceed limit which prevents people from hoarding time. So if they've reached 900 hours of vacation, um, you can prevent them from exceeding that so that they don't um, go off and uh, loot the company when they uh, leave um, with so many hours that you uh, would have to pay for those. Um, you also have an overdraft column here that allows uh, the employee to pull hours from their bank even if they don't have enough. So in this case uh, Buzz has 59 hours but let's say he wanted to take one big giant vacation um, for 100 hours. Um, if he had some overdraft hours here were allowed to overdraft a certain amount uh, you would allow that. Um, if it's set to zero then that is not allowed for that particular reason. There's a button down below that you may also want to take a look at and that is the time off reasons button. When you click that you will see all the time off reasons in the system. You can add and remove these to uh, fit your company needs. Uh, when you do that you will see the time off reasons listed here and when you close and go back to the time sheet and open up this little time off area here you will see the reasons there as well. So that gives you a little bit of an overview on how Standard Time handles the automatic time off accruals.